Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you are coming across my channel, let me be the first to say, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You're more than welcome to like this video, share it, comment, and or subscribe. Whatever you feel that you need to do with this information, I hope that you do the right thing by way of gaining truth and clarity about something maybe that you already know that you know you know. You just need a little bit more information, right? Don't shoot me. I am just the messenger. I pray that you come in prayed up and meditated, right? Not overly medicated because some things in life require for you to just be clean and in a sober mind. Why? So you can get this spiritual work. Sit with the divine first and foremost, okay? Don't trust in me. Don't trust in the cards. Trust in the creator of all things to give you the truth, to show you the truth. And once you get the truth, you are now obligated to be obedient to the creator, right? As it relates to what it is that you need to do. If you're being told to do something, if you're being told to cut somebody off, if you're being told to fast or whatever else it is, whatever it is, right? You have to be obedient to that, right? Okay, so now that you know the truth, now what? Because the truth is going to come out here in spiritual court. Newcomers, this is a place that we consider spiritual court spiritual court is a place where we get justice righteous justice judgment on all timelines by way and or as it is ordained by the creator of all things we say hey dear god this is unfair we need righteous justice and or judgment down on these situations they've been doing this that and the other and the most high is revealing your known and unknown enemies so if you come in with that gift of discernment that is a gift. You should absolutely be walking in gratitude because of that. Needless to say, if you, oh, the cards are going through something, y'all. Somebody don't want this to come out. Let's pray over these. Holy Spirit, uh, make it so. Get it right. Holy Spirit, my Abba, help me. What's going on with the cards? Listen, if you're returning back to the channel, then you are my beautiful, amazing soul tribe family. Na, na. I love you, Soul Tri family. I've been out and about. I had a beautiful day, honey. I just was enjoying the day. I'm going to tell y'all something. Three big old hawks flew over my head. They weren't even flying. They weren't even flapping their wings. They were trusting the wind, honey. And they were soaring above everything. What does that mean? You're no longer going against the grain, divine collective. You are allowing the creator to carry you. You are in a beautiful divine relationship with source of all things. And your faith is really what is sustaining you. You believe what it is that your Abba is saying is for you. You know that what's coming to you is what you deserve and you are doing the right thing so that you have the right character and the right attitude to receive the blessings of the universe. And so it is so. But the hawks were in a trusting energy with the wind, honey. Oh, and then just as I hit the corner, this beautiful butterfly came out. It was so bright. I'm like, hey, girl. My spirit guides was talking all day, honey. And I just went into solitude, y'all. Went into prayer, got quiet, talked to the Most High, had a real conversation. I said, what's good? This is how I talk to the creator of all things. I'm like, what's going on? Can you check me out real quick? Am I doing everything okay? If there's anything that's in me that don't need to be, show me. This is how I talk to the Most, most High. Look, is there anything in me that's not pleasing to you? Can you please remove it? If I'm doing something wrong, you know what? I'm sorry. So I talked to the most high. We had a real conversation, but let's go ahead and get into it. I got so many downloads. I don't even know which one to say. First of all, your enemies have been defeated. Anybody that comes up at you is coming up against God. Let's just get that out the way. We're a little bored with the monotony of all the black magic, whatever. This shit is backfiring like crazy though, y'all. Listen, you're going to start to feel a whole lot lighter. I feel lighter. I feel disconnected from some stuff that child, I didn't even know I was still connected to. People that were still throwing stuff at me energetically whatever it was this eclipse huh this eclipse is about to put it in order it is a finality of this particular level because where we're going it's worldwide 
Again, just imagine traveling on your journey and you have unnecessary luggage. It's like, okay, no, I don't need this bag anymore. Okay, I don't need that bag. And just see the bags is trash. The universe is naturally discarding these relationships. Listen, Abba, I saw the hawks, man. Listen, the hawks were communicating. This is a soaring energy. Eight of Wands is like a swift moving action. Baby and the wind today. The ancestors were so happy. The honorable ancestors. Because, you know, some of y'all's ancestors were nice. Did I do the Soul Tribe song? Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. My beautiful Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. You know I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much, my beautiful soul cried, and God gave me my soul tried, mm. I cried and I cried, listen, soul tried, listen, Eight of Wands, taking action, moving forward, rapid action, quick decision. Give us the current energy, please, and thank you. Somebody want to have a conversation with you. King of Wands is coming out. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy coming out real strong. Somebody's got a lot of power to be coming out in the readings like this. Three of Swords, baby. This person is crying to the ethers, crying to God. Somebody's begging the most high for mercy and grace. They're watching you. They're watching you. Page of Swords. They could be talking to people about you. There could be conversations going on. Somebody is not doing so good. They're not sleeping at night. Something's in the way and the something is their ego. Now, at first, I think they wanted to blame this on a soul tie, karmic situation, blah, 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 blah. Somebody's taking their power back, but at the same time, they have to hold themselves accountable to what they did, irregardless to magic being done on them, right? Because a lot of people want that get out of jail free card. They're all in spiritual court like, oh, but they were doing black magic on me. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, you need to hold yourself responsible. They were doing black magic on all of us, right? But when you have that direct connection to source, there is nothing that can come for you. So this person is needing to stand accountable outside of the black magic. Because somebody's been banking on the fact that they can be like, um, excuse me, most high. Hey, it's me, King of Wands. Yeah, they was kind of doing magic over me. So that's why I was acting the ass. Okay, well, listen, that means if they were able to do that magic over you to that capacity, you never had a connection to God. People that have a real direct connection to God, that stuff don't work. You might feel it a little bit, every, uh, you know, a little something here and there. But baby, honey, let me tell you, I can tell you what I know, proven, tested, and tried. Knight of Cups. This person wants to come in and make some type of an offer. Why is the Knight of Cups there? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. What is this about? Is this him? Yeah, this person wants equal give and take. Why is this? Wait, wait, hold on. Clarify the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Somebody's up to something sneaky. What does somebody do? Yeah, okay. So here's the thing, y'all. Page of Swords. Somebody's talking about you. King of Wands. Uh, Sagittarius energy with the Eight of Wands. They want to communicate. Somebody is trying to heal from some type of separation and heartbreak. Nine of Swords. This person's not sleeping that much. Somebody could have really dark circles under their eyes. Okay. Anxiety, hopeless. Okay, somebody's really suffering in silence. Here's the thing. Nine of Cups. Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords, right? Clarify that. Who is this person at the Knight of Cups? Because I want to say this is this person. No, thank you. This is a karmic. So you had a karmic attacking you and attacking this person. Could have been a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Water sign energy with that Knight of Cups. 
somebody slightly younger. Maybe somebody felt like, oh, this person was a little younger. That's why they went for whatever. Whatever it is, they're coming up as a knight. Knight of swords. Somebody was attacking you and this person. Six of pentacles. Somebody could have been paid to do this. Seven of cups. Okay. Somebody's got a lot of options. Clarify the seven of cups. Why is that there? Or was somebody painting illusions? No, somebody was doing all kinds of shit. It's a Pisces. Page of Cups, somebody's sad. Whoever this person is, somebody was um this was a karmic to this King of Wands somehow. Seven of Cups, somebody was painting some type of an illusion. Heavy on the water sign energy with the cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Piscean energy with that page. Somebody's a little bit younger, very immature. Okay. Somebody was uh creating a lot of conflict, projecting illusions of conflict. Okay, on to this King of Wands. This is what he's saying. So that he couldn't come towards you. Thank you. I thought that's what I was going to say. The chariot is in the reverse. And the chariot came out. Something about this person not moving towards you. My left ear is ringing. Yeah, somebody wanted somebody to be delayed. Okay, yeah, look. Before coming to take a leap of faith with you. The fool. The lovers. Somebody cares about you. They love you. Who is this person? Who is this person? The hermit. Virgo energy. Clarify the hermit. What is this about? Ten of swords. Somebody betrayed you. This could be a mutual friend. This could be somebody that you know or somebody that they know. Okay. Could be a Virgo involved in a water sign. Somebody paid somebody to do something. Possibly some magic to make sure that this person did not come towards you. Okay. This person's had delays. This person's trying to find you. Okay. They're also lost. Somebody's like lost. Somebody has like lack of direction. You know, somebody's trying to find you. What is this about? Who is this? Who is this person? Ace of Wands. Ooh, he is. Ooh, whoever he is. He absolutely is uh, passionate about you with that Ace of Wands. Wanting to give you the wand by way of a new beginning and or reconciliation. Somebody is trying to manifest you back in. Okay. Somebody's investing very heavily. Somebody's thinking about how much you invested in them. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to reach out to you. Show me this person that they're trying to find. Who's the person? Justice. Libra in energy. You could be a Libra. Four of Swords. You've been resting. Somebody's been taking time away. You're like in hermit mode. Okay, so this hermit could be you. Or is there a Virgo involved? We'll, we'll clarify. There's a lot going on. Seven of Cups, somebody's creating some type of conflict. Five of Swords, confusion. Not wanting this person to come towards you with the chariot in the reverse. This King of Wands wants out. They can't sleep at night. They're all in their head. Here's the thing. The magic only works unless you give it power. So this King of Wands is giving his power over to somebody. Some younger person. Yeah, somebody's really like making it hard. Knight of Swords, they want to fight. This King of Wands is finally starting to stand up for himself. Whoever you are, Divine One, Four of Swords, you're resting. You're in contemplation. You could be going through some type of an ascension. Four of Swords. Yeah, you're thinking. You're like, you're still right now. Justice. Balancing things out by way of karma. Good karma. Telling yourself the truth. Accountability. Law. Cause and effect. Yeah. You're like, you're like out the way. Tucked away and out of the way. Clarify that hermit. King of Cups. Yeah, that's you. So there, you could have Virgo highly aspected in your chart. Okay. Somebody betrayed you. King of Cups. You're coming up as a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Okay. Knight of Wands. What is going on here? Who the hell is this? Five of Pentacles. There's a lot going on. Okay, so who is the divine being? I don't even see your energy here. Yeah, you closed out a cycle. I thought this was you, divine one. So this is, okay, I, let me just rewind and clarify and correct myself. This king of wands is this king of cups. You're not even any, anywhere in here. Four of swords is like, all I see from you is the four of swords and the world. You've closed out a cycle. You're recovering from something. 
this knight of wands okay feels as though he i don't know there's some type of betrayal there's some type of blockage there's some type of interference somebody's energetically trying to stop this person from coming towards you knight of wands energy this person is very passionate about you with the king of cups to the knight of wands and the king of wands going from a knight to a to a king knight of cups somebody's in between here though seven of cups creating some type of an illusion or this person has a lot of choices or whatever this is yeah six of pentacles somebody somewhere an ex-lover of this person paid somebody to block him or stop him or do some type of magic or something like that okay this is what i feel five of swords is conflict five of pentacles whoever this uh king of wands is he feels abandoned he could be going through some financial issues as well eight of swords He's going through a, an awakening. Yeah. Whew, this is not good. The devil. He is going through the dark night of the soul, facing his whole, all his demons. Somebody is going through a real serious awakening. A real serious awakening. Somebody's having to deal with their heart. Who is that knight of who is that knight of cups, though? Death. Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio. So whoever this Scorpio is, they're blocking this uh, King of Wands from coming towards you. Page of Cups. Clarify the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. Page of Cups to the Page of Wands. Somebody could have fire and water in their chart. There could be a Scorpio and a Pisces. I don't know what this is. Somebody could have paid somebody. Somebody could be teaming up against this King of Wands. Whatever it is, they're laying it on thick. The Lovers. So this person doesn't come towards you to take a leap of faith. Ten of swords. What the hell's going on? There's a lot. What's going on? Yeah, there's one more person. Somebody's collaborating. These could be third-party situations. Um, I don't even see you here, Divine One. Again, with the exception of the Four of Swords, I thought you were the King of Cups, but you're not even here. You're coming up as, as uh, Four of Swords, somebody out of the way, resting, laying low, you know, maybe playing a little slow and laying low. You could be a Libra. That's a lot of air energy here. Four source to the justice. That's air energy, Libra energy. Okay. Wherever you are, you're somewhere balancing out something. Who's the divine being? Like, who's this person? I don't even think. Yeah, you're in hermit mode. Temperance energy. You've pulled back. Temperance is about balance and, you know, pulling back when you need to. Oh, God. What is going on here? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. My beautiful Abba. What is going on? Who is the divine being? The Hierophant. Ooh. Ooh. This is interesting. You could be a spiritual practitioner. Whoever you are, you're very high ranked. You're out the way. You're going through some type of an awakening. You could just be like chilling in the cut, waiting on the eclipse. <laughs> you didn't eclipse these people up out of your existence, whatever this is. Listen, show me the divine one, the higher font. Clarify this divine one. Queen of Wands. Ooh, somebody's a November Scorpio. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting Sagittarius. You could have Taurus highly aspected in your chart. Whoever you are, you are a mother freaking guru. The tower is here. Scorpionic energy. Somebody's a November Scorpio. Okay, you are a spiritual beast in these spiritual streets. This person is saying you are my person. <laughs> Clarify the divine one. Yeah, listen, you're moving forward. Whatever this is, whatever people got going on behind you, you're taking a leap of faith in a new direction. Clarify the full Gemini energy. Yeah, look, the star, somebody's in the public eye. Somebody's in the public eye. Somebody's either a Sagittarius with Scorpio. Somebody's birthday is in November. I just heard November 24th. You could be a Sagittarius with Scorpio in your chart. But you got a lot of water and fire. You're in the public eye, the star. You absolutely are in the public eye. You could be somebody that does tarot. Ace of Swords that tells the truth. I've been getting a lot of readers coming up in the readings <laughs> lately. You got people from the past watching you go through this spiritual journey. People that thought you were a J-O-K-E. Okay. And now they want a D-I-E, honey. Baby, they better S-I-T of that ass down. Okay. Listen, let's have a spelling game. 
somebody is lame l-a-m-e oh they're in competition with you honey five of wands that's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of wands though okay so this could be men different men in competition with you i feel like whoever these women are that this king of wands is dealing with they're trying to stop him from coming towards you but there's a lot of men that want to come towards you queen of wands yeah Ooh, oh my god well wouldn't be a reading if it wasn't layered i don't feel like this is supposed to be upside down it could have been a card that was out of place and i do believe it was page of wands yeah page of wands in the upright somebody's getting news <laughs> that you're moving on you got a lot of emperors looking at you okay this king of wands included and he wants to apologize page of cups Ooh, my goodness. There's a there's several people here. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. That y'all are kind of mirroring one another. There is a Aries, Pisces in March. Aries, Pisces, Page, Wands, Fire. Somebody's got fire and water. This could be you as well. Or somebody's coming in with this in their chart, emperor-wise, okay? Who is this person? Somebody is watching you. No, the Knight of Wands, okay. So you got a lot of people looking at you that want to be with you. They could be lusting after you, okay? Queen of Wands, you know, you're very attractive. Red could be your color right now or something. I don't know. Something's like passionate. Somebody could be burning a red candle. You can have one of those red bracelets or a red string tied on your left wrist or your right hand or wherever you tie it, okay? Like in the picture, Ace of Cups. Somebody wants a new beginning. Was it 2204 just as I said that? You got a lot of soulmate energy coming up. Justice, Libra and energy, karma. You're getting good karma. Show me the divine being. Yeah, you're working. Somebody's Somebody works in the public eye. So you are a fire sign, water sign, water sign, fire sign. There is absolutely a November Sagittarius um, that is out here just bringing that spiritual work. You're bringing out towers. Okay. Or you're in the beginning of November with, uh, with, with the Sagittarius energy. I mean, with the Scorpio energy, you're bringing down towers. You are the Hierophant. You're a truth teller. You could do some type of divination or be a motivational, spiritual leader. Whatever this is, people are watching you. They're absolutely lusting over you. Whoever you are, you show your face. Somebody shows their face on screen and somebody's like lusting after you. There's a lot of men here that want to be with you and they're watching you work, okay? I feel like you're mindful of that, including this King of Wands from the past. Clarify. Yeah, Three of Cups. Somebody could have put you in some type of weird ass twisted. Why is the three of cups here? Because it, I feel, yeah, you ain't got time. I was going to say three of cups with justice, honey. Whoever this person is from the past, they put you in a third party situation. Maybe these are the people that are trying to block this person now, but I don't feel like this person's an option. Yeah, nine of cups. They want to come in and make some type of an offer. Your king of swords on somebody's ass, queen of wands you like uh it's a no yeah let me think about it i uh, know yeah like nah you don't even need to think about a page of source they watching baby somebody's watching 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 day and night what is going on love is in the air Ooh, and the death card was flipped over hmm scorpionic energy you could have gone through some type of major awakening you absolutely did seven of wands you working with your ancestors out the way for swords you could be uh going on like it's just a little small sabbatical where you're kind of withdrawing your energy so that you can recover your energy which is wise to fill your cup back up but ace of cups your cup is overflowing just as you're getting good energy by way of karma taking accountability come through with the higher fonts bringing down the towers with judgment what the hell is anybody thinking about Ten of swords, whoever this person is from the past, baby, they can't stop thinking about you, okay? You could be two fire signs, 
Three of Cups, somebody put you in a third party situation, judgment. That ass is under judgment. You could have told that mofo, little Knight of Wands ass, hey, I call judgment. Uh uh. And you got some wands out here, wanding that want to give you the wand. Okay. And this King of Wands got issues because he, mm -hmm. child, this is him. Three of Swords. It was a breakup. Okay. You separated. You said adios, adivadelci. I will not. I cannot put myself in a third party situation. I'm just not third party, you know, uh, material. Okay. If you will, you're going to have to find somebody else to contribute to this little menage a trois. Whatever this is, this little raggedy ass, raunchy ass, you know, rickety, rackety ass, bursting at the seams ass group. It's just disgusting. You're like, no, I will not. The Queen of Wands is like, no, what are you thinking? So you broke up with this person. You left. Now they just aren't having so much fun with all these other people. Seven of Cups, they had all these options, and now it's just not so so much fun anymore. Now that the foundation has been, you know, demolished and or ruptured, <laughs> now that you're not there, they just feel like, you know, a house is not a home. A house is not a home when no, there's no one there, okay? Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. You are the Empress. You're beautiful. You're radiant. You're lovely. You're kind, you're sweet, you're loving on self. You could be doing a lot of self-care with that four of swords. This four of swords is like taking time out to take a breather. You could be abstaining from conversations on the phone. You ain't answering no text messages. There's communication coming in from this king of wands, but I feel like you got them on block. Whatever this is, could be social media, your phone number, whatever. Somebody don't even know how to get in contact with you. They could be sending long ass messages thinking that you're just ignoring them. And in reality, you're not receiving the messages. Oh my God. Okay, well, I am just the messenger. Please don't shoot. Yeah. Somebody wants conflict. Somebody wants smoke. Some of these women, whoever these women are that want this king of wands, queen of wands, listen, they want smoke, honey. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody really want to take you out. Look, somebody is pissed. These little, whatever they are, Little scallywags running around this king of wands. They could have done some type of conflict and or death spell over you. Or they could be really wanting to take you out. <laughs> like for real. You're too protected for that. You ain't got time for petty intrigue. I'm just getting somebody that's like, oh, this is such a trivial pursuit. Why would I even think? Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, what is this about? Clarify the five of swords with death. What is, what is it that they want most high? Yeah. You're too nice for that. King of cups. You got somebody coming in that really does care about you, though. Could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Somebody really does care about you. Ace of Cups. Okay, so this could be the Ace of Cups that you're taking taking somebody up on their offer. But you got a lot of people trying to get into your energy. Men. And then you got these weirdos trying to block this King of Wands, but you're not even considering this person. And he's not considering them. Okay. Child, listen. It, it, that's too much. Clarify the king. <laughs> yeah, look, they're obsessed. Capricorn energy. Somebody's obsessed. Clarify the devil. Somebody's obsessed. Somebody could have some addictions. Somebody could have some doggone addictions. Whatever it is, you're protected. It's almost like these people are talking shit about you, Queen of Wands. You know, you're a spiritual practitioner, though. You know, you could do divination. You could see this in the cards. You're bringing about towers. You are fire. You're walking, breathing fire. You're like a big old fireball. Why would somebody do that? I just see like somebody throwing fire like, shut up. And you sitting everybody down, burning up what needs to be burned. Listen, the devil, they can't stop watching. They're obsessed. You're protected. Your ancestors are like, I don't think so. <laughs> Another group of weird ass karmics out here playing dodgeball with fire and the devil. <laughs> That's what they like to do in their spare time. So let them just go ahead and let them. If that's what they want to do, okay. <laughs> you just continue to be about your father's work. Yeah, they weighed down. Somebody was trying to weigh you down, sending you some type of weird ass energy. And this shit has backfired, okay? Whatever they're doing to you is absolutely happening to them. There's a lot of illusions being painted. Some of these people are, are just losing it. That's nothing else to say. Yeah, four of swords. 
somebody's resting, relaxation, you're recovering your power, you're going through some type of transformation with the strength card. Somebody could be having a glass of red wine. I just heard that. Okay, that's good for your blood. Maybe you're having a, a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon. I don't know. Or Merlot, or as they say in the hood, maybe Merlot. <laughs> Listen, I go to the upper echelons of Beverly Hills, and I can also go down to the bottoms of the Nickerson Gardens in Watts at the border of South Central. Or is it Compton? Is it Nickerson's in Compton? Shout out to California. Listen, we go everywhere. The world, honey. You closed out this cycle. You did. You closed out the cycle, okay? Whoever want to call you, whatever they want to call you, you don't give a damn. A lot of this stuff, look, they're just watching. Somebody's waiting and watching. Well, when is it going to kick in? It's not going to kick in. This is a hierophant. Somebody's too high in the ethers, boo. To come down to this low vibrational reality TV show, you know, you are not the father type of an energy, okay? Like, nah, it's a no. You, you didn't need to give this a second thought. You're not giving somebody a second thought, Queen of Wands. You're healing and you're feeling real good, okay? It is what it is. Yeah, you're like, leave me alone. I'm over here doing my business. Yeah, loving on yourself, getting to the bag, making good investments. Listen, you're planting really good seeds. And so you're reaping the harvest. You're coming up as the king of pentacles. Okay, somebody could be getting married. Yeah, look, and you're leaving people out in the cold. Five of pentacles. Mm -mm, clarify that five of doggone pentacles, honey. Child in the water. Hey. Listen, they're going to be waiting in the water, baby, for you. Whatever they got going on. Your four swords is resting. Their four swords is the five of pentacles. Somebody could literally be making themselves sick from thinking about you. Somebody's restless. Whoever this person is, they could be standing in the bed. They're just thinking. They're just, oh, you ain't coming back. And then they got all these different hoes and different area codes that want them. And they just don't want this, this, these people. And they're doing everything to block this person. Show me who's trying to block this king of wands. What are they doing? Are they doing magic? What are they doing? Binding spells. Binding spells. Eight of swords. Trapping them. Trying to trap them. Trying to bind them. Energy. Get up, king of swords. This is an illusion. This king of swords is going through the dark night of the soul. They know he's going through an awakening, so they're attacking him at his very uh, vulnerable energy, most vulnerable time and or moments. And they're throwing energy at him to make him feel trapped. And well, really, he's not. All he has to do is stand up. Eight of Swords, fortunately, is a self-imposed imprisonment. You got the keys to get up out of this, bruh. 3303 coming up right there. You're an Ascended Master. Get your punk ass up. Even if you don't get this Queen of Wands, you need to get through this Ascension. Okay, what are these little raggedy little mug muffins, <laughs> rug muffins, scallywags doing to this man? Look, well, they're abandoning the situation or they feel abandoned by him. It's one of the two. But that eight of swords, eight of cups is as above, so below. This man is going to move forward. Now, whether or not he moves towards you, I don't recommend that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest because I feel like you've completely closed out this cycle. You're like, no, no, thank you, please. This person's like, I really do love you. I still do love you. I really do need you in my life. It's the Pepe Le Pew type of a thing. You have a certain je ne sais quoi that these other women just don't have. And so this man really wants you. He needs you. He wants, uh, you know, baby, please. I'm sorry. I miss it. You're like, no, no, no. You're just not spiritually up to par. You got to go through karma. This man's got some years of karma to eat. Whatever he did by where this betrayal yeah, he can't come near you. You've already started a new beginning and you've lovingly closed out this cycle. He's going to have to take this L and realize that it was a big lesson, not a loss, but a lesson. The L means a, a lesson. Is that an L? Is that an L? Okay, that's an L. Listen, it's a lesson. It's what it is. He's going to have to understand that, take that, deal with that, do what he needs to do with that and move on with his life, period. Maybe. You know, he'll give him another empress. 
But right now, he's got some issues. He needs to be concerned about these hidden enemies. They're walking away, though. Clarify the Eight of Cups for these enemies. Or him. Is it him? Yeah, he's the one that's trying to walk away. Okay, so it's him. So they're not going to give up. Oh, surprise. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay, you know, it's a lot of confusion going on here. I just read the energy. Seven of Swords. They're still sneaky and deceptive. They're going to continue projecting some shit onto him because baby... It's working because he's going through the dark night of the soul. And if anybody knows about the dark night of the soul, it's a very vulnerable place. You try not to get through that by yourself. But if you can help it, you know, call on your spirit team and believe in the creator of all things. If you if you know what that is, if you don't know what that is, you're going to find out in that dark night of the soul. That dark night of the soul is not for the weak, honey. You got to face your own demons. And so somebody knows that he's in that transformation. And so they're projecting onto him anything they can. This person is saying, you are my person. I'm coming towards you. The four of wands. So somebody's trying to hurry up and get through like a crash course <laughs> of the dark night of the soul. Hey, excuse me. Let's just have a conversation. Hey there. Hi there. Come on in. Have a seat. Honey, there is no shortcut by way of the dark night of the soul. You're going to have to eat every little morsel of that energy and you're going to have to get grounded and you're going to have to go within at a time that it could be very, very scary. There's no shortcut. Somebody's just like, I don't care. Let me hurry up. Okay, what I got to do? I got to read a book. Got to get a cleansing. I got to hurry up and get to my twin. No, you're missing it. You're missing it. Okay. This person will always be connected to you by way of, you know, just uh, this person being known to be a lesson to you. They'll always be remembered as the catalyst in your life that thrusted you into this very hard awakening. But can we just have a conversation? Come on in, have a seat. Again, I know you stood up after the last conversation, but have another seat. Listen, you can make this hard or you can make this easy. But the secret to this dark night of the soul is that you have the keys. All you got to do is call out to the most high God. All you got to do is submit and repent and whatever this is that you're going through and deal with your own demons. It's just an illusion. Do not give these women, whoever they are, sneaky and deceptive. You got some of them doing love spells, sex spells. They want you back in their bed, okay? What you want me to tell you? Not a cups. They want to come through. Hey, I just, you know, I haven't talked to you. I made something to eat. Don't eat the food. She put something in the food, okay? I'm <laughs> just telling you. If I was you, I would take a vow of celibacy. But it's again, it's just my recommendation. I just want to make note that this fell right on top of the page one's getting new seven of pentacles in the in the uh and the world. And this is how the king of wands feels about the advice that I just gave him. Well, wherever you are, listen, you're still gonna to have to get through this. There's no way around it. Some people survive it, some people don't. I don't know. Next, anything else here? Thank you later, King of Wands. This person's trying to reach out to you. They're gonna be communicating to you, Queen of Wands. If you still got a social media website or site or if you're on facebook or whatever they're going to be trying to find how to get in contact with you eight of wands this person wants to come towards you they're pretty stubborn though somebody's this guy is pretty stubborn when he really should be sitting down eight of swords nine of swords but he feels like you can help him yeah hierophant mm, interesting plot twist okay well let's just see let's see let's pull from our really shiny cards the shiny cars. Let's have a commercial break. Ooh, what the hell is going on? The commercial breaks get real. I'll be like, girl, what is this? So let's just break it down real quick in a nutshell. Let's not take too long. Make a long story short. This king of wands wants you, queen of wands. He's watching you in the public eye. You're on a public platform, baby. He knows that men want you. He can't sleep at night. He could be watching you all night and day. He is waiting, willing, wanting, wants to come towards you. You've closed out a cycle. He wants to give you the wand and makeup and, and, you know, to break up. I feel like makeup to break up. That's all we do. First, you love me, then you hate me type of an energy. And you're like, no, there's too many thin lines between love and hate. It's a hell to the no for me. And he got some raggedy ass scallywags on his tail. This is not no bad looking guy. He got a whole bunch of options, but they just are not sufficient. He could be kind of snapping on some of these women. When the King of Wands is not happy with this Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, he could be very impulsive. 
he might be like, bitch, y'all said you do that. You know, like real nasty mouth. I ain't gonna even lie. He's got a decision to make, okay? So what these women are trying to do is confuse him. They're trying to paint some type of an illusion. Somebody's trying to paint themselves to be his twin. His awakening is intense. Yes, he's going through the dark night of the soul, but he ain't stupid. He knows what he wants. He don't want this person or whoever these people are. There's somebody teaming up with a friend that paid somebody to possibly do something, you know, to stop him. Okay, somebody's doing divination to see if he's coming towards you. Somebody's doing something to bind him. They paid somebody to do some type of magic, okay? That was a real commercial break. Show us what we need to see, Holy Spirit. What's going on? Please and thank you. This fell right on top of the chariot. Yeah, they're trying to bind him. Eight of Swords. He feels trapped. Again, the Eight of Swords. He's going through some type of an awakening. He's going to have to see himself out of this. He's got the keys to get out of this prison, but he feels like you can help him. This is why he's really pursuing. He's in love with you, yes, but he feels as though you can help him. What is what is it that the Queen of Wands needs to know about this person? What does she need to know? Creative all things is saying continue to hold back your energy. Four of Pentacles, continue to keep this person on block. Whew, the Most High is like, I need him to feel it. Ooh, this is hard. He's suffering. He's crying out, please. I'm like, oh my God. What do you need us to light a candle for you? Or what? Do a cleansing or something. I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, the most high saying four pentacles. You you're blocking this person. You got you pulling back your energy. You're in this temperance energy and you're resting. You're like, mm-mm. Because you know he got a whole bunch of karmic cords attached to him. He's got to cut these soul ties. Oh, I know what that feels like. Damn. But the thing is, nobody can live this out for you but you. Show me what we need to see, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Eight of Pentacles. He's working hard. He's working hard. He's working so hard to try to get to you. He's doing the inner work. He's fighting. He could be praying. He could be... He's just really fighting. Somebody's really fighting for their life. There's some type of addictions here too that somebody could be fighting or that they're trying to abstain from. Four of Cups. You see this guy with this cup coming from the heavens. He's just not satisfied. He's got three other cups. Offers. He's not satisfied. It's not the one that he wants. It's not the offer that he wants. Ace of Pentacles. He wants you. He feels like you can help him. And you're in the Queen of Swords. Good for you. Good for you, Queen of Wands. I feel like, yeah, you're in this Empress energy. Look at this. Look at you sitting pretty. Empress energy. Okay. Yeah, you're in this Queen of Swords energy. And you're like, I wish I'm a little wood. It's a hell to the no for me. State your name in the last four of your social. You got the you got the ace of swords raised. You're like, uh, excuse me. And somebody is like suffering. What did he do? I, I hate to dig up the past doing this mercury energy because i know sometimes that could be a you know a bit triggering slightly triggering show me what he did what did this man do i feel like he put you in a third party situation yeah he was sneaky too many times for you honey seven of swords he was sneaky and deceptive sneaking around doing something killing stealing and destroying whatever this is whatever he was aligning himself up with okay justice is here you're getting good karma you call judgment down on the situation. Two of Cups. He made an offer to somebody else. He had another partnership. Okay. The Two of Cups is a partnership, friendship, Knight of Pentacles. And he gave to somebody else. He sure did. One of these karmics that stuck to his ass. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, when I say he's watching, he's watching. He could be trying to figure out where you live. No, he's doing it by way of divination. Page of Wands. Huh. 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 He knows you're protected. He knows that you're protected. He feels as though he left you out in the cold, but really, it was divinely orchestrated for it to all go like this. This was like the best thing that ever happened to you, Queen of Wands. Yeah, look. It's the best thing that ever happened to you. You got to the Ace of Cups. It's like you needed this experience, you know? Somebody chose somebody. Yeah, somebody had a lot of choices. Seven of Cups. Somebody was like, oh, I got I got hoes in different area codes. You know what I mean? I got hoes. Ooh. 
I got holes in different area codes. Area, I got holes. <laughs> This person went from I got holes in different area codes saying, I, 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 I think I just want to be a one woman man. I want a family. I want a house. I like, I just, somebody is like, you want a family? Like that type of thing. You're like, yeah, I always did. But you know what? Yeah, your time is up. Somebody was foul. Somebody kind of played you to the left, baby. Yeah. And you said, everything you own in a box to the left, in the closet. That's my stuff. Yes, if I bought it, please don't touch. And keep talking that mess. That's fine. Because you walk and talk at the same. Come on, that's it. You told somebody, to the left, to the left. <laughs> Ooh. He sees you as somebody cold-blooded. Queen of Cups in the reverse. He's like, you ain't got no love for me. You're like, oh, not exactly. Like, I, I don't want to see you die. You know, I don't want to see you totally jacked up and screwed up. But it's a no. You don't feel the same anymore. Yeah, somebody changed you. King of Wands, there he is again. He's coming up. He's watching. He's watching and learning. Even if you don't help him directly, he feels as though... You are a teacher, a leader. You're absolutely in the public eye. Hierophant to the Queen of Wands is somebody that is uh, a guru, okay? Business owner. However, he's watching you. You're very spiritual. You're very spiritually protected, okay? He could have gotten angry, could have tried to wish something on you, and baby, it's a no. And when I mean wish, I mean like, oh, I hope she doesn't get with anybody else type of a deal, right? That's a wish. That's a that's a prayer, right? Be that good, bad, or indifferent. Whether you bow your knee or not, watch your words because every prayer is registered still. And so now somebody's having to eat their words. They can't sleep in the night. You know what this non-sleeping is or this inability to sleep by way of insomnia? Somebody's thinking about everything that you told them, okay? You were a huge part of this person's life. Somebody say, you changed my life. And now they're going to have to take their life by the balls <laughs> and live it on their own. What's the worst that can happen? You got to get through that dark night of the soul by yourself. And they're fighting a whole bunch of whole bunch of choices. Women that had them bound. So they're feeling their energy. Every time they try to come towards you, this person could feel a stabbing in their chest. Like somebody's over there working the hell out of this man. They're like, hell no, you wouldn't love me. This is somebody that they gave an offer to, too. Somebody that they thought was better than you, or they just thought it was the best choice. I'm not going to say there's any comparison. Somebody at the time was not thinking. Somebody's blaming it on the black magic. You know how you got people saying, blame it on the alcohol? Blame it on the al 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 alcohol. Blame it on the vodka. Blame it on the henny. Listen, somebody's trying to blame it on the black magic. And then the most high is like, okay. You can't blame all of it on the black magic, boo. Get your ass back in that dark night of the soul and work your way through and submit your prayers to the creator of all things like we all had to do. It's a very gruesome process, but nobody can get through it but you. I thank you all for stopping by here. This does conclude another case of spiritual court. What in the entire hell is going on? Episode 1000 umpteenth. I lost count. I love y'all. Listen. Shout out to all the people that donate to the channel. I really do appreciate it. I do. I am eternally grateful. I thank you. 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 I'm so happy. I love you. If you want to donate love and light, go ahead and do it. Do it with a high vibration. You know, watch this on your smart TV. Put it on the surround sound and laugh a little bit because you know why? Moving forward, everything is looking good as we keep it a buck. Keeping it real. I love y'all. I really, really do. If this resonated with you, it makes me happy. I hope that I get to see you in the next video and I will. I'll see you soon. Peace be with you.